Hello everybody and welcome to the Worldwide Technology Raceway here at Gateway for the Camp Craft for the Craftsman Truck Series race here, the good old Toyota 200. Ben Rhodes, Corey Hammond, Ferro's here, green and underway here at Gateway as they battle it out for the lead here early in this opening lap of racing. The 99 of Ben Rhodes racing the 11 of Corey Heim. Rhodes clears Heim. Here comes Endfinger to the inside of Heim as well. He will move into second as Ben Rhodes now will continue to drive away with the race lead at the moment here at the here at Gateway. So Rhodes leads over Heim, Endfinger, Connor Jones, and Zane Smith. The top five right now as you look throughout the pack. You see some good racing throughout this field. You know, we got some guys trying to make their way up towards the front of the field. Aren't running too hot like Taylor Gray, Bailey Curry, Carson Hosevar. Need to be getting some more spots. They want to be in contention right now. Three wide back there. Meanwhile, at the front of the field, Ben Rhodes is leading this race and looks to be trying to drive away with the race win right now and possibly a spot in the Craftsman Truck Series playoffs to be our fifth different points regular winning this season as Ben Rhodes leads Grant Enfinger down the back stretch here on lap number two come on to lap number three Enfinger right now can't get any run as Corey Heim our defending winner for the Charlotte Moore Speedway last week battles the 66 of Connor Jones for position I see Ben Rhodes is leading back to the line Ben Rhodes leads early here at Gateway and now we're going to move on to lap number 38 here out of the race, Corey Heim. Out of the race with a camshaft failure. Your Charlotte race winner who just punches into the playoffs now out here at Gateway. Not going to help Corey Heim in his quest to try to be close to Zane Smith for regular season championship. But now Grant Emfinger leads on this restart over the 19 of Chris Neckis up at the front. See some battles here throughout the pack. Haley Deegan there racing Dean Thompson. Further up, you got all the way here at the front, of course. You got some lap trucks. Dicing up with your leaders. Ben Rose battling the lap truck of Brett Holmes as Nick Sanchez tries to make something work. But right now, Christian Eckes is the inside of Grant Enfinger for the lead. And the battle is on. Back to start finish line. Is it going to be Eckes or Enfinger? They continue to battle into the line. Grant Enfinger will be scored as your leader here at Gateway. Just holding off Christian Eckes' hard charge on this restart. And now we're going to get back at it here on the last lap of Stage 1. It's going to be on lap 50. Ben Rosen, 99, leading this race. going to get the Stage 1 win. Zane Smith right there behind him in second, followed by Nick Sanchez, Grant Enfinger, and Stuart Fries in the top five. Through 3 4 for the final time. We're going to toss the caution command. And Zane Smith on the inside of Ben Rhodes. Trying to steal the stage win the last second. What a move by Zane Smith. But he's not going to have enough momentum to make it happen. And back to the line. Ben Rhodes wins stage one at Gateway. Zane Smith, your runner up. Sanchez third. M finger fourth. Majeski, Friesen, Eckes, Connor Jones, Jack Wood, and Chase Purdy, the top 10. Now we're going to get back at it here in stage two. Now Tanner Gray is out of the race with a clutch failure. That's two. Tricon Garage Toyota is out of the race early who are in some obviously vastly different point situations. Corey Hine locked in the playoffs with the win. Tanner Gray trying to point his way back above the cut line. Both out of the race now with mechanical failure. It's not a good day for the Tricon squad. Meanwhile, your race leader is the 38 of Zane Smith who has jumped Ben Rhodes after pit stops. Eckes Sanchez, Jack Wood, the rest of the top five as uh, Connor Jones, not Jack Wood, the rest of the top five. As they continue to battle throughout this pack. Look back here. Daniel Dye racing with the nine of Colby Howard for position. Well, it looks like everyone's going to keep it going here. Now look at the 35 of Jake Garcia. Trying to get himself a solid finish. Now Zane's going to come down. Here to Zane Smith, your race leader. Down the pit lane. What is he doing? Zane Smith puts and will throw away the race lead and possibly the win here at Gateway to come down the pit lane. And now we'll give the lead right back to the 99 of Ben Rhodes, your stage one winner who has been so fast. He's this three wide battle with Connor Jones, Brett Holmes, and Nick Sanchez. But now Ben Rhodes is on his way here at Gateway. He's chilling. He's got a nice, comfortable lead over Christian Eckes and Zane Smith, his top competitor pitting. We say Ben Rhodes might be the man to get it done tonight here in Gateway and punch his ticket in the Craftsman Truck Series playoffs as he tries to get his second Craftsman Truck Series championship. And now we move on to a one lap dash to end stage two. It's going to be Nick Sanchez leading the way over Ben Rhodes and Christian Eckes with the lap trucks on the bottom of Lawless Allen, Zane Smith, and Brett Holmes as we are green and back underway for the one lap dash here to end stage two at Gateway. Nick Sanchez trying to get the stage two win. This would be his first stage win of the season as three wide watch out back there with Ben Rhodes. We're going to toss the L command so they can now race back to the line to end stage two. Three, four wide alike behind them. But right now, Nick Sanchez is taking care of business. 
As he will go through three and four for the final time here in stage two. Still three wide behind him, and but he's got the stage win in the bag. Coming back to start finish line, Nick Sanchez will win stage two here in Gateway. Run up the stage gonna be Akis followed by Majeski, Rhodes, Connor Jones, Friesen, Purdy, Hosevar, and Finger, and Bailey Curry. Your top ten as Nick Sanchez gets it done in stage two now. Back on the restart here on lap 126, a little bit later in the race. Nick Sanchez continues to lead. Christian Eck is, is second, Ben Rhodes third, Time Jesse fourth, and Friesen runs your top five. As we continue to have some intense battles here at the front of the field and have lap traffic playing a very important role in this race. As you see, they're already holding up Nick Sanchez a little bit, opening the door for the th two Thor Sport trucks behind him and Christian Eckes, who's of course out of both Thor Sport trucks. As now down the back stretch, though, Sanchez gets a bigger on the outside and clears. Brett Holmes, his number one lap traffic problem, and gets a car to have a gap now between himself and his fellow competitors for the race win. As Nick Sanchez looks to be cruising to victory lane if he can navigate the slab traffic of Wallace Allen and Zane Smith. And this would be his first career win. Be a huge moment for the young driver in his rookie cross and truck series season for Rev Racing Alliance with Kyle Busch Motorsports. Now, Timmy Hill, high out of the way. Here comes the inside of him. He's a lap truck. As there he goes by Bailey Curry, Connor Jones, Jake Garcia, Chase Purdy, Carson Hosevar. Got a bunch of guys trying to work by on the bottom. He's sacrificing these lap trucks. They're all flying by. Crafton makes his way by. M Finger going by. Here comes Taylor Gray. The whole, whole dang pack's flying by. You see behind him, there's still three wide trying to race for every possible position on the racetrack. Ankrum almost bounced off the wall back there. We two to stay green and battle throughout the field. There's Matty D going by. But back to the front of the pack right now. We got Benros Majeski. They're battling for third. Sanchez now the inside of Wallace Allen's lap truck. Put him back one lap down. That's Christian X. Oh, and figure out the wall back. There's trouble. Matt Crafton down the racetrack. There's some trouble behind him, but he saved it. What a save by the 88 of Matt Craft. And the Crafty veteran gets a save here at Gateways. It looks like Grant Enfinger bounced off the wall and went right down to the 88 of Craft and nearly sent him crashing hard into the inside wall. Luckily, Matt Crafton's talent and ability allows him to save it and avoid the grass completely and keep going in the right direction without wrecking here. Game the caution is out on the racetrack. We have a caution on the racetrack. Looking to have the pack to see a possible cause. It's not the front of the pack, that's for sure. And it may be caused here by this number one truck of uh, Jesse Love making his Craftsman Truck Series debut for Tricon Garage tonight. Of course, uh, he's got three wins in the Arkham and Art series this season. Has been doing extremely well. As we fast forward all the way back here, he's still a ways back, but no caution really developing in front of him. So it might, I think it's pretty much going to be Jesse Love going to be the reason for this caution flag. We will uh, check back on him here. And indeed, look, he's down the race track. He was indeed spun out as we get the replay here. Jesse Love gets turned by the 46 machine of Memphis Villarreal into the inside wall. And that is now the third Tricon Garage truck struggling out of the five tonight. Of course, the one of Jesse Love and his Craftsman Truck Series debut wrecked into the inside wall here late. In the race here at Gateway will allow Zane Smith to get back on the lead lap. Now we're going to get back to the finish here. Two laps to go at Gateway. Nick Sanchez in the lead. Ben Rose with the inside. The battle for the lead now. Sanchez versus Rhodes. Who is it going to be? Majeski lurks in third. Eck is fourth. Freeze of the now Majeski the inside of Ben Rose for second. It's every man for himself. White flag. Final laps are Kittle Bank here at Gateway. Can Nick Sanchez hold on to get his first career win? Behind him, the two Thor Sport teammates of Rhodes and Majeski battle. As Majeski took his opportunity to go into second. And Zane Smith, uh, not Zane Smith, uh, Eckes and Friesen lurk behind them. And down the back stretch, because Majeski rolls side by side, they're selling themselves down. It's exactly what Nick Sanchez wants to see. He's pulling away. He's scooing away. And through the final corner for the final time in Gateway, it's going to be a first time winner. Rev Racing and Nick Sanchez will get their first win. And Sanchez wins that Gateway. Your runner up will be Majeski, Eckes third, Rhodes fourth, Friesen runs their top five, Connor Jones, Matt Crafton, Jack Wood, Jake Garcia and Chase Purdy, your top 10. After an incredible finish here at Gateway with Nick Sanchez getting his first career win and locking himself in the Craftsman Truck Series playoffs from below the cut line. He goes from 11th, three points out to now locked into the playoffs with this win. Joining Corey Heim, Jake Garcia, Stuart Friesen, and Zane Smith as our winners this season who are running for points in the Craftsman Truck Series. So how about that, Nick Sanchez with the win, see the race results on the left side of your screen, the 3 DNS, Bailey Curry also had a camshaft failure, 
and we'll see the updated playoff grid shortly. He updated the playoff grid. Of course, Nick Sanchez will slot in fourth from 11th now with his first career win. Locked in the playoffs with the win. Ty Majeski, Christian Eckes, Ben Rhodes. Extremely comfortable on points. Nothing to worry about right now. And Finger, only plus 10 to the good now. And Chase Purdy and Tyler Ankrum are tied at the playoff cut line. It's going to be a tight finish this regular season. Hosts of our up by 16, die 19, and almost a full race out. You got DeBenedetto, Taylor Gray, Dean Thompson, Kraft, and Tanner Gray, Colby Howard, Roger Carruth, and Timmy Hill. So until the next episode, I hope you all have. Have a good one.